Welcome to Truckin' Tuesday by Race Grooves. We're going to take a look at this off-road Mack transporter. It was for a series called Radiator Springs 500 and a half. I don't remember how much this cost, but look, I kept my receipt in the box. So this way when I went to do the review, I would know how much it cost. So here's the original receipt. 1997 was the original receipt. And it was back in September of 2014. Here you can see the features of the transporter. You can lower the ramp and load the upper deck. Here you load the lower deck. And, oh cool, we can detach the cab as well. You can see that it transports six vehicles. One, two, three, four, five, six. They show them in front as well, but they don't come with the set. It's just a cardboard display piece. Here you can see the six models again on the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have them as well. Let's take a look at the packages before I open them up. Here, of course, you have Lightning McQueen, and he is called Off-Road Lightning McQueen. Let's go ahead and put him in his spot right there. There's Off-Road Lightning McQueen. Next, it's an orange model. His name is Sandy Dunes. Uh, I don't know if it's a he or a she, actually. Uh, I don't know if this was a cartoon, but he looks like a uh, Volkswagen Myers Manx type model, but uh, he, he's just a generic dune buggy. We'll put him in his spot. Next, we have a green VW Bug looking vehicle. Here you have Shifty Sidewinder. I already opened one up. Here's a look at Shifty Sidewinder. We'll put him in his spot. I opened them one up when I did a review of the Easter Buggy. It's a set that we can get here in the USA. I'll give you a link to that video uh, at the end of this video. Up next, excuse me, we can't see. It's a brown type model. His name is called Idle Threat. There's a look at his card art. By the way, the backs of the, I'll let you, you can pause that if you would like to read the descriptions. I believe that they were all the same as far as the description. And it says collect all six. And there you can see all six of the vehicles. Now let's go ahead and open up Idle Threat and we're gonna put him right there. Oh, he was ready to get out and play. Now it's a blue vehicle. The blue vehicle's name is Blue Grit. It's kind of like a uh, Baja truck, it looks like. There's a look at his image on the package. He looks like he's ready to race. Got some spare tires. He has two spare tires. This one had one. This one has one on the roof. Hey, this one, no spare tires. He better not get a flat tire. And Lightning McQueen, he had a spare tire. Hey, look, there's another Mater. Let's take a look at this one. Here's Mater, here's his card art. This is Off-Road Mater. By the way, off this one here, uh, I found him. Is this the one? Nope, I'll talk about a different one in a second. Off-Road Mater. Again, collect all six, and that's the last one, number six. There you have the six, but wait, there's more. Yeah, they released two more after those six. Why they did that? Well, I guess we like collecting cars, so they added two more. Here you have Stanley Day's Sarge. And there he is with his uh, patriotic American flag. And check out this cool Fillmore, Stanley Day's Fillmore. And look what they did on the back. Collect all eight. Now, I don't remember how much I paid for these, but I did find him at Big Lots. And I still have the sticker on this one, $5. So these were in the $5 range, these vehicles. Uh, these were sold at Toys R Us. I'm going to open up the one with the uh, price tag because the one that's still in the package 
This way it'll look nice displayed without that price tag. Come on out. Wow, he looks pretty cool. He's got some uh, room to store some beverages when he's out there in the desert. I like that. Now, let's go ahead and open up this one too. Stanley Day's Sarge. And there he is on the back of the package. Hey, there's his flag. Very cool. It showed it on the package. And he actually has a flag on his model as well. He's got skinny tires. There you go. There's all eight. Now I got to get Mac out of the package. I have the off-road Mac transporter out of the box. When he's in the box, he's kind of squished like this so he can fit in the box. What you want to do is pull this out. Now he has room to turn. And how does he turn? Well, the same way he hooks together, if you look in there in the slot, you can see a post, right? Let me show you that post because that's how you can take them apart. And that's how he pivots right there on that post, which goes into this slot in the back of his tractor. So let's go ahead and put them back together. Now, when he's close like this, he can't turn that well because his wheels. So when you're driving, you're going to want him like this so that he has a better turning radius. Now, in the package, if you remember, they had a piece of cardboard with these vehicles. First off, though, let's go ahead and start the trailer. Let's go ahead. We're going to load the top. Let's lower this. Flip this out. Now, let's load the trailer exactly like it was in the package. You have the brown vehicle first. His name was Idle Threat. Here's Idle Threat. Let's go ahead and get him up into the first spot. Behind him was the blue truck. And here you have blue grit. So you have idle threat. Then you have blue grit. And behind him was off-road mater. Very cool. Look at, look at, you got lights. He has a winch in the front. Uh, he's a very cool looking truck. He gets a lot of releases, huh? Well, you know what? It's interesting. You have a spot for his wheels. Does this sit up? You know what? How are you supposed to put, how are you supposed to close this if he's there? Is it going to stay there or is it going to fall down? I don't know. We'll find out. I guess it stays okay. Now on bottom, here's the three vehicles. Let's go ahead and get this one. You just pull out this right here. First up, we have the VW Bug looking model. And of course, that was Shifty Sidewinder. Up, 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 up. He gets quite a ride. Oh, there he is in the first spot. Second spot, Lightning McQueen. Off-road Lightning McQueen. <laughs> And he gets to go up on top. And last but not least, you have Sandy Dunes. And Sandy, wow, tight fit. Sandy, well, they show her there. Let me see the back of the box. They show that she fits in between this edge and this. Let's try that again. Guess what? They show her working on the box but she's not going to stay there beep beep coming through it looks like they hold on okay like this but i wonder if i jerk it is mater going to fall out or how well does that hold him in well it looks like i can leave the ramp like that because if i were to lay it down it, it doesn't really have a lip to hold him and he would fall out really easily i just thought of something i can't leave him like this and this one can't sit here because it falls out, and this won't stay. What if I leave this down, put this here, and then flip this all the way around? Is that going to hold them in? And will Mater stay right there? Hey, that'll work. Excuse me, folks. A few more people would like a ride. Do you mind giving them a chance? Sure. Come on out. I need three spots. 
Let me go ahead. We'll just put them up top. Scoot. Hey, is this going to squish McQueen? Let's see. Oh. He's okay. Coming out. Excuse me. Coming out. Excuse me. Ah. Here comes Stanley D. Sarge. He's pretty small. He could have fit down there. Now it's time for Stanley Day's Fillmore. And last but not least, the, the Easter Buggy. Now remember, this was not from the 500 and a half series. This was from a 2017 release of Easter Cars. Oh. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Off-Road Mac Transporter. If you'd like to see my other Truck and Tuesday videos, click on Mac. Would you like to see my Easter buggy review or maybe my Disney cars playlist? Those are your links. And this is to subscribe to the Race Grooves YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and have fun with your toys. Bye bye.